Thanks for checking out my Nota.ai review. If you're looking to boost your productivity with their AI note taker, I think you're really gonna like what they have to offer. First things first, they do come with the ability to start for free, so if you'd like to try them out or simply follow along with me, you can click the link in the pinned description or the comment to do so. Let's hop in and show you how it works. All right, so here we are in the dashboard. First things first, very clean, very simple, very easy to use. You're going to see that some of the biggest features are gonna be at the top here. We have instant record, upload and transcribe. You can record an online meeting, and of course you can record your screen. I'm gonna go over two of these because once you understand how to set it up, which is only a couple of steps, everything else is mostly going to be the same, which in my opinion is a good thing. You don't have to learn a whole lot when using this, and I think that's very beneficial, especially for the fact that you can just kinda of get your transcriptions, get your notes, get it up and running, then there's a lot of micro features that go along with that that I think you're gonna like as as well. Let's say we want to do an instant record right here. What we can do is monolingual transcription. So you can pick a language here. I'm going to scroll through just to show you some of the languages that you can use here. Of course, I'm going to go with English. And of course, there is bilingual transcription if needed. So if there are two languages that are going to be used here, you can do that as well. Let's go with monolingual here. And for this, I'm not going to go with real-time translation. I believe that you get a little bit better results when you keep that off. And for me, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to do record and transcribe. All right, so as you can see at the bottom right here, there's gonna be the recording that is going. So this is me pretending to do the recording. So once we are done, we're gonna go through, it's automatically gonna go through and transcribe everything for you. But even better, as I mentioned previously, there's some nice bells and whistles in terms of features that you can utilize with this. For example, you can create a mind map for it. So if you're doing something that has a lot of moving parts, a lot of steps, you can go ahead and automatically have that created for you where you can copy it, you can save it. You can also send this to other people, other team members if needed. They make it very easy not only to capture and take notes, but to send it off to someone else as needed. But I'm not gonna talk too much on this. What I wanna do is just hit the stop button so you can see how it works. So I'm gonna click on stop right here. And it's gonna give it a little bit of time for it to transcribe. So once that is done, I will get right back to you. It shouldn't be too long, but I don't wanna make you wait. Of course, I can always just edit out the video. All right, so here we are in the dashboard. This is gonna be where all of the magic happens. Keep in mind, it only took a few more seconds once I cut off to fully transcribe all of it, and it's only a 49 second clip, so I don't expect it to take too long nevertheless. Here's gonna be where you can change around the speaker, Marketing Island, that's gonna be me, that's fine. What I like most about this is the ability to utilize templates as you can see right here. So you can generate templates based upon what you're gonna be talking about. For this is probably like general, it was just kind of a blurb to talk about the software, right? But if you really wanna deep dive and kind of get into it a little bit more, you can see like basic, there's sales, HR and management, and I'm gonna scroll through very quickly just so you can see what else you can use when it comes to using a template. There's even like a YouTube one, which I'll show you after but let's say we're just going with something general let's do use this template and using AI, it's gonna generate the summary, the chapters, and the action items. Now this one's probably not gonna come out too great. I'm gonna show you another example, but I just wanted to show you the interface here where this is gonna be much more beneficial when you have something that's a little bit more uh, in depth, right? So, so for the summary, I initiated a demo of a recording and transcription feature. The speaker explained that the system automatically transcribes everything once the recording is complete. They highlighted additional features, including the ability to create mind maps, which is particularly useful for projects with multiple components or steps. Talks about sharing capabilities, recordings, transcription. So overall, it also gives you kind of a timestamp here. Pretty cool, right? So I wanna go into one where we can actually say upload a YouTube video or a much longer video to really show you the power of it when you have much longer and more in-depth content, okay? So let's go back to the dashboard. And I already uploaded two of them, but I'm gonna show you how it would work if you were starting from scratch. So what you can do here is go to upload and transcribe. And here what you can do is just paste in a URL or just simply upload it, it's up to you. So for this one, I put in a YouTube URL. I'm gonna click on next. And it is going to say how it's already in the list. I did already do it, but what you would need to do right here is obviously choose the transcription uh, for the language here. And then of course, do upload and transcribe. Given the fact I already did that, I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna to go to this one right here. All right, and so this is gonna be an example of the video I did here. The summary is fantastic. I'm not gonna read all of it to you, but I know exactly what happens in the video. I did it recently, and 
This summary is so much better than I could come up with off the top of my head, so that's always a good thing. You're gonna see how there's gonna be specific aspects of it. You can go on it and play, and it'll jump right to it. It's gonna talk over me if I do that, so I'm just gonna refrain from doing that. But if you look here down on the left side, we have the highlights. There's also gonna be timestamps as well, so the initial setup, the website structure, customization, content and image management, uh, then we have more content management, the portfolio setup, and the final preview and conclusion. So a fantastic job when it comes to the summary and of course the highlights of what happens in the specific video. I believe this was gonna be the YouTube template. This was a YouTube video. I thought it would work well and it did very well, okay? There's also the mind map, which is fantastic in my opinion. We can make it a little bit bigger. So if you want even better notes, we have the title right here. We have the main summary and these are all gonna be the highlights. So it took what it, created right here and turned it into a mind map for you. So make it a little bit bigger once again, and it has some more notes there that go with each section. Of course, what you can do here, you can copy it or just download it, and you're gonna have that to use as well. So not only given a transcript in the first place, but summarize and mind map, which I think is very beneficial. Of course, if you wanna send it to someone, very straightforward. We have a share button here where you can make it public. You can have the link expire if needed. You can add a password. You could add search engine indexing. And last but not least, this is gonna be the link that you can send to someone in case you wanna share it. It's kinda of like having your homework copied, but instead of copying it, you just give it to them, right? Here you want my notes. Here they are, copy, send, you are good to go. And I think that feature is gonna be very beneficial, especially if you want to have notes taken, say when doing a Google meeting. And let me show you how that's done very quickly. And of course, as you can see here, there's gonna be recording online meetings. You can also record your screen, very straightforward, but I'm just gonna go right here. I'm not gonna dive deep into this, specifically for the fact that it's gonna do exactly what we have done previously. All right, so when it comes to recording an online meeting, very straightforward once again, you can do monolingual transcription or bilingual. We have the transcription language and all you would need right here is gonna be the meeting invite link, okay? So this is what's gonna allow you to record it get that transcription and pretty much have it done for you. And with that, everything's gonna come full circle. We can go back to your dashboard. You can get more notes for it. You can share them with it. You can do a mind map. In fact, I'll just go here one more time just to kind of give you an idea of how it works. So this was gonna be an example of another YouTube video I did. So just to kind of show you right here, let's say we wanna do the summary and highlights. I'm gonna click here. Let's give it some time and then it's gonna follow through when it's done. All right, after waiting a little bit of time, this was a 14 minute video, so it took a little bit longer, say, than it would with something that was much shorter, right? So we have our summary and of course the highlights with these specific chapters, not the chapters, but the actual timestamps and everything else is gonna be business as usual. There's not a whole lot that you need to do. It's more about going back to your dashboard, and once you do that, everything comes full circle where you go back to the dashboard, you can get your transcription, your translation, you can get your notes, you can share them, your mind maps, your summaries, and it's pretty straightforward. And I think that's a good thing. It doesn't overcomplicate the process, especially if you wanna get that transcription, translation, or just get fantastic notes that you can share with you or your team members. So we've talked about the features, now we can talk about the pricing a little bit. Like I said, they do come with the ability to try them for free, which is always awesome. They do come with a way to get a discount. If you wanna pay annually, you can get 40% off. And regardless of if you choose monthly or annually, be sure to use that coupon code down below in the description of the pinned comment, and you can save a little bit more of money. But all in all, I do think that they have very valuable pricing. If you're looking at going monthly with Pro, it's $13.49 per month, can be a little bit less with that coupon code as well you get 1,800 transcription minutes a month and up to 90 minutes per conversation, 100 file uploads, as well as 30 AI summaries a month. Business is gonna be where it beefs up a little bit, in my opinion, especially for the fact that you get unlimited transcription. So if you need to do that, that's gonna be very beneficial for you. You also get up to five hours per conversation. That's gonna be very beneficial. And this is going to double right here, 200 file uploads a month, as well as 50 AI summaries a month. So. And as you can see, you're gonna get everything in pro with this along with a few more. And of course, last but not least, this is gonna be if you need a lot of seats starting at 51 seats, but you would just need to contact them. Nevertheless, I think this pricing is very valuable for what they have to offer, especially for the fact that it can save you a lot of time if you happen to use this a lot when it comes to transcriptions and even those recordings. Nevertheless, I think they have very valuable pricing, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of transcription or just note taking in general when it comes to meetings. So with that in mind, let's cap off this Noda.ai review. So Noda.ai is one of those rare tools that just gets it right. It's clean, simple, and genuinely great at what it's supposed to do. 
automatically turning your meetings, interviews, and recordings into searchable text without making it a whole event. The transcriptions come out great, and little micro features like mind maps, bilingual translations, automatic summaries, easy team collaboration, and one-click sharing can seriously make your life easier without even realizing it. Nota can save you a ton of time, and speaking of saving, they already have great value for the price, and you can knock a little bit more off with my coupon code down below, which is going to be MI10. At the end of the day, Nota doesn't try to be everything to everyone. It narrows down on the problem that it's trying to solve and crushes it. So if you're looking for something that's actually useful and doesn't feel like a science project to set up, Nota is absolutely worth checking out. They even offer the ability to try them for free and you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to give it a shot. And don't forget about the coupon code as you can save a little bit of money with that as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy using this great tool.